Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the Warrior's Struggle Arc. It's the chapter where the immortal Shibachiharu challenged the underground champion Hanma Baki. Do you think Baki will accept Chiharu's challenge? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts somewhere in Tokyo. Shiba Chiharu. He was careless. The boy had this look on his face, as if nothing happened. That was the first impression he gave me. You could tell through his shirt that his back wasn't extremely big or anything. His neck. And the way they relate to his shoulder made it clear that he was still a developing boy. The way his shirt fell on his body, you could also tell that he was sort of a slender boy. It was almost as if he had just enough muscles to be strong and fast. But as I looked closer at his muscles, they seemed developed in a special manner, as if it was made for fighting. And it's then that I noticed that all over his body, he was covered with scars. Even his hands were covered in scars. It was as if his skin was broken down by doing nothing more than fighting. But for some reason, everything above his torso was clear of any kind of scars. As if his face was off limits. And then, the boy assumed the position, as if he was getting ready. It was as if he was an athlete getting ready for a quick start to move. Shiba then questioned. What? Then he stands up. He continued. A true warrior to your very core. The son of the strongest creature alive. I should try not to go soft. Mr. Shiba. This will be the last time. This challenge of yours. I will only answer your attacks. So make sure you know what you are doing. And there won't be a next time. Who do you think I am? Shouted by Shiba. Then he tried to kick the son of Ogre in the body. He then shouted. This is what I wished for. However, Han Mabaki managed to easily dodge his kick. Following it up with a palm strike to the face. Shiba is thinking. He is really strong, isn't he? It's true after all. He is the real deal. How? Me and him. Exactly how much of a difference is there between me and him? I have to find out. Then Baki unleashed a devastating leg kick. Following it up with a precise blow to the chin. Then finishing him off with an elbow strike. There is no mistake. I saw it clearly with my own eyes. With his third attack, the ninja boy. He landed a hit, but it seemed as if the scar boy didn't try to dodge. As he just stood there. That's why I said those words to you. I will not attack, I will only defend. It was as if the scar boy just stood there. And I saw the ninja boy hit him with a straight right punch. But why did he fall down? To this day, I have no idea why he fell down. Shiba Chiharu. Why? Why did you do it? Why pick a fight with me? Then Hanma Baki leaves. Hanayama then commented. It's okay. If it's Baki and him. It should be just fine, shouldn't it? We now move on inside the boxing ring. Retsu Kaio is currently knocked down. He is thinking. It's true after all. I did hit him. It's true that my right hit him. It must have been at the same time. That his left hit me. A real blunder. Gloves. It's things you use when you are training or in a friendly spar. Time and time again, I use them during my training. For me, it was always like using the dull side of a blade. A bare fist was what I always used to break down whoever stood in front of me. Make it as hard as possible. Make it a real weapon of destruction. But, wearing gloves takes away that concept. It reduces the amount of damage you can do. A punch to the head should feel like a giant's hand was just placed on your head. And he decided to shake it as hard as he can. That's the kind of damage they give you if you face them. That's the kind of fist that Baki holds and wields. That's the kind of fist that Pickle holds and wields. Gloves. Gloves take away some of that power. Gloves aren't that kind of tool. Wait. Tool? But that. It didn't feel like that with his punch. Before the referee can count to 10, Retsu stands up. He continued. I get it. Okay. Now I get it. 
they are the one thing that makes boxers strong. For boxers, it is a tool. It's what gives them the right to call themselves fighters. For them, the gloves protect their weapons as they hit. For example, a liver blow. And that also goes for counters. Their gloves aren't in the way for them. What's wrong with this? How could I have noticed it just now? Boxing started with bare hands as well. But the rules changed when they decided to make it into a sport. It was in 1865 when they decided the rule to use gloves inside a ring. And in those 150 years, they grew to become a huge sport. And in all that time, they studied to make use of those gloves. Until finally, it was successfully weaponized. I misjudged it. I figured that such a nice looking object couldn't be of use. I thought that such a gentle thing had no right to be in a real fight. Inside that cushion, there is still something similar to a stone hiding. But, what should I do now? All of them are making so much noise. But this, is the damage really this extreme? We now move on outside the house of Han Mabaki. The defeated Shibachiharu is waiting there. He then said, Baki, there are, are no need for words. Fight me, Baki replied. Okay, I won. Don't tell me you forgot. What is up with you? I just beat you a few moments ago. Going at it a second time isn't really how it's done. It's because you're Han Mabaki. Yup, it's exactly how you say. Just me being me should be enough of a reason. But seriously, why are you so fixated on fighting me? Is it some sort of training? Hmm. This might just be some sort of training indeed. But it's you. But why me? Because it's you. So, what do you say we begin? Hey. What? Wait a second. Seems you are ready, huh? Are you trying to tell me there is no one else? There is no one else you could fight for a good training? From here on out, for the last time. Is he even listening? A reason. Doesn't matter, since I will win this. This guy seems bent on this, no matter what. Then Baki casually slapped Chiharu in the cheek. Instantly knocking him down the ground. He then said. Chiharu. So this was a training fight, huh? I have to admit that, I kind of appreciate the fact that you said you would win. But it's not something someone as strong as you should say. Let's stop. We don't have to fight anymore. When you open your eyes, I am sure you can find your way back on your own. After Baki leaves, Chiharu gets up. He is thinking. Hmm. Since it's you, it's okay. It's because he is a gentler devil. So, it's okay. Inside Baki's house, he is thinking. Pretty awesome. Even after all that, he didn't give up. He should be ready by now. Is it really okay? He is the type of fighter who won't back down unless you break him down thoroughly. Then all of a sudden, Shibachiharu punched Hanma Baki in the face through the window. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Chiharu has any reason for fighting Han Mobaki? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujabur, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, L. Arshion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about the learned technique of the young Retsukayo. Stay tuned.